In this video, we'll be going over some of the basics of formatting your WordPress posts. So right now I'm in the uh, post editor and I've made a test post for uh, some foosball rankings and if you go ahead and look, it looks probably a little bit different than what you're used to. If we head down here to our block, you'll see some of the uh, original formatting WordPress tools. And from here you can play around and let's say you wanted to bold some items. So you can just start off by highlighting and clicking the bold. This will bold the words official rankings here. Um, you have a few more formatting options too as far as text alignment goes. I currently have this set to paragraph. You can change this to a few other different types of formats. So heading, lists for example. There's also a way to add permalinks like we did before. Um, some pretty basic tools and editing functions here in the, within this toolbar. Here you have a little drop down menu where you can duplicate this block, insert another block. Uh, if you're more comfortable editing in HTML, you can also have that option as well. Um, just uh, some nice little features here that you can play around with. Let's say uh, you're missing that old editor, that old toolbar that we used to have. We can actually still access that uh, when we create a new block. So we'll go ahead and throw in a new block here. If you see up here in the middle, I have a classic mode. We'll click that. And this will give you the traditional editing toolbar that some of you may be used to. I'll go ahead and add an example here. Anything that we type in this box is by default going to be set to paragraph. But let's say I wanted this to be a heading. And right here you have all your options. I'll go ahead and click on heading 2. Once I'm done with that, if I wanted to change something or let's say edit this list right here, uh, I wanted to change it to a numbered list, we can just pop down here, switch this over. Uh, there's a lot of different features and stuff you can play around with. For example, if you wanted to change the positions of your blocks, you can head over to the left and click the move down arrow or move up arrow. These are just a few of the different functions that you can use when formatting your posts. In the event that you make an accidental change or don't quite remember how you made a change and want to go back, you could always head up to the left hand corner and hit the undo button and this performs an undo function and sets you right back where you were before. Once you're done making a few changes, I suggest heading over to the right hand part of the screen and saving your draft. Now we can go ahead and preview this post. As you can see, it's nice and formatted. If you find something that you want to go back and edit, you can always head back over your gray admin bar and edit the post. One last thing I want to make note of is if you're wanting to maybe edit without distractions or completely edit in HTML, you have these options over here to the right hand side. Here we have a full screen mode, a spotlight mode. You can also navigate to the code editor if you're more comfortable with that. Head back to the visual editor. Now that we're happy with our post, I'll go ahead and publish it. Now that we've published our post, and if you still have questions over posts, you can head over here to the left hand side of your screen where you have access to support forms and WordPress documentation where you can read up more on formatting posts.